Hi Libra, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for May the 15th to the 31st of May. Now it is a general reading so take from it what you will, leave the rest and uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me attuned to your own energy and circumstances the link is on this video and in the description box below. There is a special this month in May, you can get a uh, 30 minute reading with me for just $50 so you know what to do yeah. Alright so I'm actually going to pull you some really specific guidance for the next two weeks yeah so first up we're going to be looking at the uh, goddess guidance yeah and, uh, let's see what you need to know Libra mm, three want to come out for you straight away oh my god this has come out for about three or four signs already yeah Carly endings and beginnings period of transformation a lot of signs have been going through transformation since mid-march yeah with that new moon and it's still going um key message here is to let go of the old to let the new in yeah mm, you pulled issue medicine woman so you have the power of divine healing if you so desire um it says that you're a channel for divine healing yeah um if you think you're doing that as a life path life purpose it is not going to appeal to everybody um yeah mm. and you pulled bast which uh this basically means that your independence is integral to your success. So don't be afraid of it. Don't make excuses up for it. Yeah, just use it as your strength. Yeah, use that power. Use that power. All right. What else do you need to know, Libra, in the next two weeks? Yeah, just know you've got... Uh, You've got Artemis, Guardian, so you're divinely protected at this time, you and your family. So uh, this is on all fronts. The message I'm getting is it's to do with your life path, life purpose, um, your finances, your material wealth, yeah, your basic needs. You're, you're secure, yeah. So don't worry if you're anxious. Mm. You've only got independence, yeah. You've got Aphrodite, inner goddess. It's about releasing your inner goddess. This is for guys and girls. Yeah, it's about being more passionate, tapping into your passions, having more fun, more adventure, in love, just being a little bit more open and receptive to love. Having more fun. Yeah. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. What is it that you need to know, Libra? I am filming outside, so if you can hear birds, it's a part of nature, huh? Part of nature. Might be a little bit of background noise. Uh, you pulled animals, chrysotiles. So um, this could mean a couple of things. You might have an animal spirit guide that shows up to you in the next two weeks. So if you've got an animal that keeps repeatedly showing up, look the meaning up on Google. It can possibly be your animal spirit guide. It can be a bird, some type of bird. It can be a sea life, sea creature. It can be just a mammal, yeah. Um, it could also mean that you have a strong connection with animals. You're a protector of animals. You're also deeply connected to Mother Nature, Mother Earth. Um, it's sitting under endings and beginnings. So for some of you, career might be to do with life path, life purpose, to do with helping animals in some way. Mm. Yeah. You've got both of these together, deep side Mother Earth. So Mother Earth is a uh, protector of nature and animals, yeah? Um, you're deeply connected to animals as well as Mother Earth. You're sitting under Medicine Woman. So if you want to tap into your spirituality, it's about getting out in nature, talking to the divine spirit, um, releasing any anxieties that you have out there. But it's going to be very beneficial for you in terms of balancing and grounding yourself, particularly if you've got endings and beginnings going on, yeah? I was out there this morning. Um, if you are, uh, actually, I was going to say, if you don't know, I have moved down to um, the southwest of the country, right? So follow me on Instagram if you want to see the personal posts that I pop up in terms of some of the beautiful countryside here. It's right on the coast, right on the sea line, but there's some, um, it's just some amazing views and I, I really get out there and film them, yeah? All right. You've also pulled selenite, spiritual awakening. It's sitting under independence. So part of your success in terms of your career is going to be your independence, but also your spiritual spirituality. And the message I've got coming through in terms of your spirituality is that, one, it can be a life path, life purpose, but it can also just help you manage your day-to-day -day emotions. 
and deal with people in the workplace, yeah, so that you come from a balanced and centered place, regardless of how they behave around you. And the way in which you're going to tap into that is Mother Earth. All right. You also want to come out in doubles and triples, Libra. Mm. Just know, under Artemis, Guardian, you also got Solitite, Peace. So you've got peace coming. Um, if you've been going through challenges, just know everything's working out in your favour. Gorgeous. Also, your spirituality is going to bring you inner peace, yeah? Tapping into that. Under Aphrodite, inner goddess, you've also pulled a gate, healthy body. So really important to look after your body. Um, I'm just going to say to you, the message coming through is if you've been piling on a bit of weight, Libra, it's time to get it off. It's time to look after yourself. Um, you're going to feel so much better. I'm a huge advocate for healthy mind, healthy body, healthy spirit. Yeah, um, That's the message coming through. But it can also be just watching the toxicity of stuff that you're putting into your body. There's nothing wrong with the occasion of a glass of wine. Nothing wrong at all. But um, it's about balance. Yeah, don't overdo it. Next two weeks. If you're thinking of starting a health regime, perfect time to do it. If you don't know how, Get over to my website, rosebennett.com, and check out the, project, the uh, programs on there in terms of helping you out with that, yeah? There's the, uh, if you don't know, the Drop 4 Diet, and there's also a workout, and there's also Mind, Body, Soul Balance program that'll get you into great shape. All right. Under endings and beginnings, um, you've also pulled your seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Um, so this is all about connecting to the divine and spirit. It's also about trusting your intuition, yeah? The fact it's sitting under chrysotile, yeah, animals. I'm going to be super intrigued. Come back and tell me if you have an animal spirit guide that shows up for you in the next couple of weeks. Okay. You also pulled garden and the gate. So if you're going through any anxiety at all, it's about holding yourself back from what it is that you truly desire. Um, there's safety in standing behind the gate, but uh, the whole world awaits you on the other side of that, yeah. Uh, if you've got big goals and dreams, you're not going to achieve them by standing in a place of security. You have to take a leap of faith, yeah. Also trust. The fact that it's sitting next to um, your seventh chakra. Also trust the messages that are coming through to you in terms of your heart and your soul life. They're spot on for you, yeah. They're going to help you tap into your flow. Mm. You've pulled uh, your seventh, your second chakra, right? Archangel Ariel. So this is all about your emotions and your sexuality. And uh, it's about balancing your emotions because you've got spiritual awakening above that. You've also got independence, fast. Um, message coming through is acceptance of all parts of self. But just know that... Um, it's going to be super important for you to manage and control your emotions in the next two weeks and to seek that time out for self. Mm. You've got the door to value coming. So uh, it's, if your flow has been stuck, it's about to become unstuck. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Take the steps that you're divinely guided to take in terms of your, your career, your life path, your life purpose. It's sitting under the guardian card, which is divine protection. It's also sitting under peace. So know that you're going to get peace of mind around your finances. Let's pull you one more. Mm. Yeah, this kind of makes perfect sense. You've got the Thinking Woman card. So, a couple of messages here. It's sitting under Aphrodite, in a goddess. So, um, I'm going to speak directly to our female Librans right now. Um, it's also got healthy body, yeah, agate. So, it's about being um, consciously aware of how you're treating your body. It's also being consciously aware of when those areas of your, not, of your life, when you're stuck in your rational side brain, when in fact you should be having a bit more fun and passion, yeah. Um, it's also about stepping outside of your emotions and not being quite so emotional, balancing and controlling your emotions, uh, which means standing more in your masculine energy than your feminine energy. And for guys, this could mean that you're connecting with somebody that's a thinking woman in terms of love and romance, also in career. Um, and it could be seeking out somebody that is a mentor or a friend 
that's quite intelligent, business savvy to help you with your goals and your dreams. All right, go pull your crowning energy from the uh, Quinian Oracle deck. And let's see what you need to know, Libra. I so wanted to come out. So interesting. This came out for one other sign, the bamboo moon. It's all about divine timing at play in your life, which is all about trust. And sometimes divine timing can be the most frustrating thing, particularly if you're a go, go, go person. Yeah. Um, let me show it to you one more time. It's so beautiful. And what it says, Libra, is, did you know there are no mistakes in the universe and all events, circumstances, situations and relationships that are unfolding in perfection with the timing and the intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favour. If something is happening for you right now, then that is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection. It is safe to trust this now. You might be wondering if anything is ever going to come together for you. Or if it seems to be happening quickly now, whether or not you're even ready for it. And the answer is yes. Divine timing is always at play, whether we are letting go or trying to force something. An intelligent power that is vaster than our comparatively limited vision is always in flow and we are a part of that. We can find so much peace and joy when we realise this and learn to trust and relax in the unfolding of our own divine destiny. Chinese bamboo helps us learn this wisdom with, of divine timing. For about five years of its early life, not much appears to be happening. The small roots attempt to ground themselves. Yet when they are ready, those roots are exceptionally strong and the plant suddenly grows like wildfire. There is much more going on in preparation for powerful growth than what appeared to be at the humble beginnings of the bamboo plant. So it can be with divine timing. There are periods when not much seems to be happening at all, and we can expect that this will con can continue and always be the case. Yet, this inner preparation time allows for swift development and growth when we are ready. When the time for patient and thorough preparation is over, our growth can happen quickly, and we might be concerned that it's all too fast and we cannot keep up with it, but of course we can, because the inner preparation has allowed us to develop a good foundation of spiritual strength. Just like the cycles of the moon that shift from hidden light to full splendor of solar reflection, only to shift again, your unfoldment is just a matter of timing. You are being encouraged to trust in the divine timing that knows all is well in your world. Rejoice, your dreams and divine destiny are manifesting right now according to your highest good. Be at peace, beloved, you are not forgotten, nor are your gifts being over or underestimated. All is well in the divine plan unfolding of which you are part. Beautiful. You're, I mean, right in the centre of your reading, apart from being divinely protected, yeah. Overarchingly, you've got the message of peace, which is so beautiful. All right. There's an affirmation of what it says is, Quinian. You surrender into the perfection of divine timing like the bamboo shoots preparing for fast growth and the beautiful moon growing full. Sometimes change is not so obvious and yet growth is happening. Please help me realise that all is in accordance with perfect timing in my own life and all my plans, projects and desires now. Fill my heart with love and peace. Beloved Goddess, let the wisdom of the bamboo moon penetrate my soul. Oh, Manny, pending on. Beautiful. Kind of calming, I have to say, Libra. All right. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Love you to bits, yeah? Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me, the link is on this video and in the description box below. And for now, much love, much life. Namaste. Mm -hmm.